So, with everything that's going on in the world today, these challenging times, our current conditions, the new normal, and other expressions that I'd never want to hear again after 2020, human malware, I like to call it, uh, there's a, a software issue that's happening quite a lot at the moment, and it's a right doozy of an issue. And it's happening because people are moving workstations around and or between workstations, moving laptops around and moving monitors around and switching monitors between positions and whatnot. It's it's due, due to the remote working thing. It's been an issue for quite a while, but it's very common at the moment. I've seen it tons over the last few weeks, and I thought it's worth making a video just to show you what it is, whether you've got this issue, identify it, and then how to fix it. Uh, it's not specific to CAD. This can happen to any application. It could be Autodesk stuff, Microsoft stuff, Adobe stuff, you name it. Anything that throws a prompt, throws a dialog box, this issue can happen to it. So let's pop on over to an application. I'll show you whether you've got the problem because I'll, I'll highlight what this actually is, the, the symptoms of it. So the symptoms are you do something, then the program hangs or freezes. It doesn't crash. It's not a crash. It's a hang. So you click a button like open, for example, and then nothing happens. It just freezes. And then you're clicking around and it's just dead. But you can still hear the boom, 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 boom. But the program's just froze and you're like, what the heck's going on? I don't know why this has happened. The key things to look out for here so that you know that this is the issue and it's not something totally unrelated is that when you click the title bar along the top, you don't get not responding. That's one thing. Would not get in the spinny circle of doom on the cursor. That's another thing. And the Final thing to confirm that the issue that you've got is this one that I'm explaining is if you press escape on the keyboard, the program frees up and goes back to normal and you can carry on until you do the thing that you just did to freeze it. And then you're like, oh crap, it's back to what it was. Right, what's happening here is that the program is throwing a prompt or a dialog box at you. So in my case, I've just clicked open. In your case, you could have clicked print you could have opened a model or you could have opened a file and it might have given you a prompt to say, hey, something needs updated. Hey, there's some properties that need checked or something. But as a Windows prompt or a Windows dialog box has been thrown for your attention and it's caused the program to halt. But that prompt has been thrown off screen. That's the problem here. And if you think to yourself, nah, it's not made because I've got I've got two screens and I can see them both. Then there ain't no prompt there. No, the prompt being thrown off screen in the wrong direction. So if you've had a monitor on a different side at some point in the past, the prompt has been thrown. So for example, if your monitor is currently on the left of your main display, the prompt has been thrown to the right. That's the issue here. Anyway, how to fix it. So when the application's hung and that prompt is off screen, what you've got to do is type in a keyboard shortcut to anchor the dialog box or the prompt to your mouse, mouse cursor and then bring it back in a display. And that keyboard shortcut is, you've, you need to make sure that the application is in focus. So do the thing that caused it to hang. So in my case, click open and then press Alt, Space, M, all together on the keyboard and then press an arrow key. And then that'll hook the dialog box to your mouse cursor and then you can bring the dialog box into focus, then left click bring it back into display. And that's it. That, that's, that was the issue. The dialog box has been thrown off screen because at some point your monitors have been moved around and the dialog box has been thrown. You, you won't believe how many times this happens. It's so common. It's not even funny now. And I wish there was, I wish there was a button in Windows or in, in applications to just say, bring all dialog boxes and all prompts back central to the application. Something as simple as that. There needs to be something like that because this is just, it's, not even funny how how common this is. I'll take that back off screen again and do it again. So it's Alt, Space, M, arrow key, and then that brings it back. Left click to drop it in. And this can happen on any prompt, any dialog box. It can be, I don't know, you open up an assembly, this prompt here, resolve link. If I drag that off screen, press escape, reopen the model. It's now hung because that dialog box is off screen. Application's completely frozen. Alt, space, M, arrow key. Then you can bring that back in. And that's the issue. So that can happen in any application, not just card. It can happen with Office, anything that has dialog boxes and prompts, which is, which is literally any application ever. But this is very common now in offices, in any situation where people have multiple monitors and the monitors are being moved around from side to side. Uh, even if you reinstall your graphics driver and Windows swaps around, which 
direction the monitors are or which position the monitors are at, this can happen very easily. But yeah, the key thing to look out for is when you press escape, the application frees up and then carries on as normal. There you go. That's it. That's all I've got. Uh, hopefully that was useful. Uh, if it solved your problem, click the thumbs up button, mate, because that's what us YouTubers crave. It sustains me. And uh, yeah, let's do the subscribe thing and click the bell and all that kind of stuff. But that'll do me mainly. Thanks very much. I'll see you next one. Peace.